What's up everybody, welcome to Video Take. So it's been a while since I reviewed a Red Dragon gaming mouse, but I'm back today with a review on the Red Dragon Pegasus, one of their new entry level gaming mice. So with that being said, let's see how this performs right after this. Do you live in South Africa and want to get yourself some awesome new gaming products? Well, check out Rebel Tech. They have extremely low prices and stock all the major brands like ASUS, MSI, Gigabyte, Corsair and many more. They also have the new Ryzen Threadrippers in store and when you purchase any selected ASUS ROG monitors, you will get a copy of PUBG for free. So check out the link in the video description to go visit Rebel Tech. So first off, inside the box you get the mouse itself, a CD with the drivers on and then the manual. But now, let's quickly check out the design of the Pegasus. Pegasus seems like a refresh of the Centra Forest, one of Red Dragon's previous entry level mice. The shape is almost exactly the same, but the Pegasus does have a bit better quality plastic, which does deliver a better feel to it. But now, let's go over the full tour of the mouse, and starting on the left side, which has two side buttons, one having some stubble on, and the other one being nice and smooth. The thumb grip is a bit rougher than the rest of the mouse to help with grip, and it also has a few grooves to show off the LED lighting. Moving on to the right side, which is exactly like the left side, except for the two buttons. This makes the Pegasus perfect for left and right-handed users. You just don't have the two buttons on the right side, but that's not really that big of a deal breaker. Next, the left and right mouse buttons do have a decent click to them, not being too light or heavy, and also having a nice travel distance, which I found really nice. Now on all previous Red Dragon mice that I've reviewed, they've always had nice scroll wheels. And with the Pegasus, it's no exception, being nice and light and also having a decent grip to help with scrolling. And like the rest of the mouse, it does also light up to make it look nice and fancy with the LEDs. Just behind the scroll wheel, you get the DPI selection switch that will let you choose between the five different DPI levels, ranging from 500 all the way up to 7200 DPI. Also, each level does have a different color that you can go change in the software. The Promise also has a illuminated Red Dragon logo on, and then also two Illuminator grooves on the sides. Taking a look underneath the mouse, you get four small Teflon glide pads for a nice smooth glide. Next up, you get the optical sensor, which has a max DPI of 7200 and a 1000 Hz polling rate. Then you also get the mode switch that will let you choose between three different profiles that you can go set in the software. The cable is also 1.8 meters or 5.9 feet long, but it is non-braided. Next up, let's look into the software. With the software in the basic tab, you are able to assign different commands to each of the six buttons. You can also make and assign your own macros to any of the keys. Along with that, you can adjust the polling rate, sensitivity, scroll speed, and double click speed of the mouse. But when you go to the advanced tab, you get all of your lighting effects and DPI adjustments. With the DPI adjustments, you are able to assign different colors to each of the 5 DPI levels and then either have a static or breathing effect. You get respiration, neon and then static. Respiration is just like the standard fade effect, while neon is like a standard rainbow effect. But with those effects, you can also add some additional timers and then brightness to spice them up as well. But now, after using it for a while, what do I think of it and how does it perform in games? Well, I have to say it performs very well for a mouse that only costs 225 Rand. Tracking is very good, it didn't get any jerking or lags when quickly moving around with the mouse. The only thing I wasn't crazy about was the liftoff distance. If you play on a low DPI level, you usually pick up your mouse to move it back to the center of the mouse pad. But with the Pegasus, if you don't lift it up high enough, the sensor is still going to pick up the surface and then it's gonna move the cursor or your camera on the screen which will mess up your aim. But now, if you do play on a high DPI, you should not have this problem and the Pegasus will be a nice buy for you. 
The Pegasus is comfortable and it does look cool in my opinion. So for the price, I would say rather go for the Pegasus than the Sentra Forest. You just get a bit more for the money you are spending. And that's it for my review of the Red Dragon Pegasus. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like, share, subscribe and comment like always. Also, if you're looking to buy the Pegasus, check out the links in the video description where you can get it on Rebel Tech. Unfortunately, this is not really available overseas for some reason. I couldn't find it on Amazon. I don't know why, but it's not there. Um, so I'm sorry for you guys, but in South Africa, it is available. You can check it out on Rebel Tech. Uh, like I said, it's a pretty decent mouse for the price. It's nice and low end. So for anybody just starting out, go check out the Pegasus. It's, it's pretty decent. So <laughs> thanks for watching guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll check you guys next time. Cheers guys.